that woman needs to be considered for MVP. There is no rookie of the year race. There isn't one. There is no Magic Johnson versus Larry Bird. It is, uh, uh, it's Michael Jordan versus Magic Johnson. Kaitlyn Clark is Michael Jordan. Asia is Magic Johnson. Say what? What up, it's your boy Chocolati with the sexy body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolati Play. Look, we are back with a reaction video for that girl, Kayla Clark. Man, I put out a poll and asked, yo, should I do a reaction video to some comments that Stephen A was made about Shell Swoops, how he feels about her being a hater, or should I do a live stream? And it looks like the reaction video was the one that won. So, okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and do a reaction video, guys, and I can edit and do whatever I want to this thing. And guess what? Y'all can't ask me no questions. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. But guys, we're going to get to this video, man, because I, I, I said I was over all of the hate stuff, all of the drama when it came to Caitlin Clark, because the way this girl is balling right now, it's about the game. It's about the game. It's not about a rivalry that they, they believe was with Angel Reese. It's not about no rookie of the year race. It's about Caitlin Clark leading her team to a playoff berth. Right. Leading her team to a playoff victory and in the process winning the rookie of the year. And damn shit, maybe winning the MVP. Have y'all seen this woman's stats coming back off the Olympic break? Have y'all seen her stats? She's averaging 26 points, 9.5 rebounds, 9.5 assists, five rebounds. She got her damn turnovers down. One steal, one block, guys. When she played her first two games in the WNBA, and might I add, it was against the Suns and the damn Liberty. She averaged 14 points. She averaged three assists. She averaged five rebounds. She had 10 turnovers, guys. 10 turnovers. One steal, one block. No, I'm sorry, two steals and one block. In her first two games in the WNBA, she didn't have time to acclimate to the game, the WNBA game. But she's had time right now. And they went against two of the teams that's in the top eight and prevailed, then beat the Mercury, swept their ass, and then went out there and won against the Storm, who they lost, was lost to three times in their series. They were a part of that eight-game stretch that Kaylin and them had, the fever had starting out. So, of course, you're going to talk crazy about them because they're losing and, it, and, and she's not making a difference on the team. But she wasn't making a difference because she was being held back by coach sides, one, right? And she's getting iced out with Mitchell and Wallace playing the game at the same time. Y'all see Wallace is on the bench right now. They got Katie Lou in the game. They have made Kaitlyn a primary ball handler. Mitchell has accepted her role as being the number two. She's accepted her role. But it's people like Cheryl Swoops who won't, they want drama. They want negativity. Like, I, I didn't even have to, to speak on this, and neither did Stephen A. I didn't know anything about it, but I found out about because watching the Stephen A show, and it made me, I was like, I have to say something about this because this is exactly what it is. I'm glad Stephen A called it. I don't know if any, anybody else is. He, could, he couldn't he could say this shit on first take. I bet you he won't say this on first take, but he'll say it on here, and he'll say that she's, she's straight up hating let me just, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. I'm going to let him tell y'all because it's, it's something that Cheryl Swoop said on her show. So he's going to read it out for y'all guys. Here we go. I don't know how much I can play on here, and I'm not trying to get a copyright, but I'm going to play a little bit of it. Here we go. Here's what Cheryl Swoops had to say. Look at this quote here. I think the Olympic break really helped Indiana. I'm going to shout out to Lexi Hall. I'm a big Lexi Hall fan. Lexi Hall shot the leather off the ball in their game against Seattle. Kelsey Mitchell is just stroking. She's just shooting the basketball. Aaliyah Boston, almost a triple-double. All right, I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to stop it right there. First off, she shot side Lexi Hall, which she should. Lexi balled out that game off the bench, 22 points. Phenomenal. Defense, phenomenal. She came in clutch, and she has been clutch in the last five games. Her and Mitchell. Mitchell does deserve some praise right now for accepting the, the feedback from coach sides accepting to take that role as being a number two, being a shooting guard, playing off ball, because this was Caitlin, this wasn't Caitlin's team last year. This was Mitchell's team last year. What Caitlin is doing right now is what Mitchell was doing. This is her second time All-Star. This ain't her first. She was the alpha on that team. She had to give up that spot. She's out there stroking. Caitlin's one of the people that's finding her. You don't say anything about 
about Kaylee, you go straight to Aaliyah and say, talk about her almost triple double. She only had nine points in that game. She was held in check in points, but she came through with her assist. I dug it. That was her highest assist game of the of the season. But almost a triple double. And you don't say anything about Kaylin Clark, who broke the rookie assist record in 28 games. She did in 28 games what it took somebody else 40 games to do. She broke it. She got 12 more games left, guys. She's gonna get 500 assists. <laughs> She's going to get 1,000 points and 500 assists, guys. She is on a tear right now. She's going to get 1,000 points. But, you know, I'm just I'm playing around. But she's going to get down there close to it, 750. I don't know how many points she got right now. She got, she got over 400. But she's balling. And you don't mention her. She's one of the reasons why they won. Does this make sense? And not even that, that she was one of the reasons why they won. The fact that she broke another record. She breaks a record every time she touches the floor. She would have broke another record for assist and points, double doubles, if she had stayed in the game and got one more assist. But they was winning. Why keep her in the game? They was beating the Seattle Storm by 20 points. You know they kept talking about her being a stat pattern. I heard somebody talking about her being a stat pattern, but they took her out the game. If she was a stat pattern, she would have been like, Coach, keep me in so I can get that one assist. Nah, I'm good. I ain't trying to get hurt. Them girls out there headhunting anyway. They be headhunting for CeCe because she's so damn good right now. She's so good. Look, that woman needs to be considered for MVP. There is no rookie of the year race. There isn't one. There is no Magic Johnson versus Larry Bird. It is uh, uh, it's Michael Jordan versus Magic Johnson. Kaitlyn Clark is Michael Jordan. Asia is Magic Johnson. This is what we're seeing right now in the WNBA. Not that other shit. That's nothing. This is the real deal game. These two women. Go look up the stats for yourself, guys. They got Kaitlyn Clark in the top 20. She's ranked 15th. Out of, out of all the WNBA players, she's ranked 15th. They did that poll on August the 14th. It is August the 24th right now. And I'm telling you that this woman has placed a phenomenal basketball coming off of the All-Star break. Averaging 26 points right now. Asia averaging 29 points in the WNBA. She's outdoing everybody in points. Then you got people like Brianna and people like Nafisha Kalia and Copper that's in points. But they ain't leading her in nothing else. Not Copper. Not any of the point guards in the WNBA. Kaitlyn Clark is playing better basketball than every guard in the WNBA right now. She's playing better basketball than every guard. Go look it up for yourself. They In the top 15, right, they got Kelsey Plum ranked above her. They got Jewel Lloyd, Sabrina Inescu. They got Arike. They got Jackie Young. They got all of They got Copper. That's six guards they got ranked over Kaitlyn Clark. But when you go back and look at stats right now, her stats are better than all of them. But this is the difference. Their records. Their records is the difference. If you were to reverse the Fever's record right now, they'll be above 500. And you will start talking about them more as Kaitlyn being uh, uh, MVP talks. Because her team would be better. That's what they're basing this on, right? And then what all of them said, they, what they said about the Ricky race, is going to come down to who is the mo has the most impact on their team. She has the most impact on her team above uh, Andrew Reese. But right now, the way it looks, Asia has the most impact on her team. She's the most valuable player to her team in exactly where they ranked it, and she's playing the best basketball. As soon as Kaitlyn Clark and a record turns around, and she keep playing like she's playing right now, averaging 26 points, 9.5 assists, and 5 rebounds, you don't think that they're going to uh, consider her in that race against Asia, who's averaging 26 points, 11 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks? Kaitlyn's a guard. She's 6 feet. Asia's 6'4", six, 6'5", six, with a stroke. With a jump shot. Come on, man. She played like a dude. That's why she's the best. That's why they call her the best. Because the way her game looks. It don't look like anybody else's. Kaylin doesn't either. And as soon as Kaylin and 18 record is better, they going to start considering her for that damn spot. Because every girl that they got ranked ahead of her is only better than her in points. Every one of them. Except for Kalia, Stewart, Asia. And somebody else, I can't remember who it was, but it's them three. I, I guarantee that when they redo this poll, that Kayla Clark is going to be in the top five. Watch. Or top ten. And she'll she probably be like seventh. But I guarantee you she's going to slip in them spots because she's better than all of them. Right? They got Alyssa Thomas to play for the Sun ranked ahead of her. They got I'm going to go to all the people that's ranked ahead of her. These are, these are all the players that are ranked ahead of Kayla Clark. 
Asia, Brianna, Nafisha Kaya, Alyssa Thomas, she played for the Sun. Jaquil Jones played for the Liberty. Jackie Young played for the Aces. Sabrina played for Liberty. Nanika Ogan Wumpmaki, she played for the Storm. Derricka Hamby, she played for the sorry ass Sparks. They trash. Kalia Cooper, Kelsey Plum, Easy McBegger. I don't even know who the hell that is. I just found out how today. Enrique Ogan Bowale and Jewel Lloyd. They got all them ranked ahead of her. All them. And she's better than every point guard on that list. Give a damn. If Enrique was that damn good, her team would be ranked 6th and 22. What the hell are we talking about? It's the best impact on their team, right? I don't want to hear shit about that. Caitlin and them got three All-Stars because they got two other players, right? Nanike Okawakamiki, right? Her, she plays for the Storm. And Azia McBegger. They're Storm players. That's three. So what are we talking about? Nanike was an All-Star too. So what are we talking about? This team is playing better right now because they don't have those issues that they had in the beginning. Ice and now Kaylin. This is Kaylin's team now. It's, she's been given the keys to the car. She's driving the hell out that shit. It's over. Comments like this shit from Cheryl Swoops, it's over. We don't care about this no more. I'm telling y'all, she needs to be in consideration for the MVP. And that she would be if this team's record was better. But what if they go on the tab right now? They got 12 games left. I, I believe they can win at least seven more. I believe they can win at least seven more. Imagine if they won 10. You got to start looking at this girl for MVP, man. And also, hey, numbers have came out. They talk about numbers, right? We go. I'm, I'm going to put up on these numbers from Stephen A. So I can hear these numbers that, for the viewership that they have been getting. Bam. There it is. These are the numbers from viewership, guys. A game on Ion. A game on Ion. The Lynx and Fever had 1.2 million people watching that shit. Then the game right after it, the Suns and Wings. Suns is a ranked second in the WNBA. 485,000 people watch that shit. A game on Ion. You got to pay for Ion channel. That's on cable. A game that's on nationally televised. Liberty and Aces, guys. Liberty and Aces. Liberty and Aces. Y'all see that shit? That's a... Aces won a championship last uh, year above the Liberty. This is, a, this is a rematch of the champions. 874,000 watch. The game after that, Lynx, that's ranked in the top five. 577,000. The game on Sunday, that's also Look, on ABC, guys, 2 million people watch that shit. That's 1 million more people that watched it on Ion because everybody can watch NBC or ABC. Everybody can watch that. That's regular television. Regular television. What the Olympics on regular television? The Olympics on NBC, I bet you they pissed off. They probably lost so much money. Probably lost so much money. Look at all the people that have been watching these damn games, guys. This is because of Kaylin. One million more people was able to watch her play because it came on regular television. That's They would have had two million in the damn game against the, the Lynx and Fever. We talk about the Fever and the Storm. The, the Lynx are better than the Storm. They won a the title. Oh, my God, bro. This is over. All the talk is over. Kayla needs to be considered for MVP. And she will be once this record turns around. So I need y'all to go on a win streak, guys. I need y'all to go on a win streak. I need y'all to keep running this ball through Kayla, right? I need y'all to keep fast pace. Stay on their neck. Defense. Defense. Y'all can win. Y'all can win all y'all games, guys. I'm telling y'all, MVP, this girl is playing phenomenal basketball right now. She's playing phenomenal basketball right now. And they played against the best teams in the WNBA for their first stretch. That first stretch coming out. Kaylin wasn't ready for that. Her team wasn't ready for her. The way she passes, the way she moves with the ball. They wasn't ready. They ready now, though. They ready now. See, Kaylin wasn't ready for her team not to be ready for her. This is the WNBA. I was supposed to come in this mug and be slower than y'all. But she wasn't. She's faster than them. She's faster than with the ball. Y'all see that. This is Kaylin's time right now. She's only going to get better. She's only going to get better, guys, and we get to see it all. We get to see it all in action because we're not hating. We ain't being biased. Cheryl Swoops, change the narrative. Change the narrative. You saw it, what happens when you try to be the villain. It didn't work. It didn't work for Angel. They ain't talking about her ass no more. She exposed herself when you see her game. I don't care what you say. I don't like the way Angel plays basketball. I'm sorry, but I believe she has hope. And I, I, I heard that she's working with, with Dwayne Wade and I, that could help her. I, I think Wade can help her with her game for real, because she played like a girl. 
<laughs> I ain't, I'm not being like mean or anything like that, but you see how Asia plays, you see how Caitlin plays, and you see how Angel plays. And she don't play like neither one of them. She don't play like Arike. She don't play like Kelsey Plum. She don't play like Annette. She don't play like none of them girls. None of them. She don't play like even DT. Dinosaur Tarasi. She don't play like her either. And the crazy, she ran like a, a, a ton of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Y'all see how Angel ran up and down the court? She ran like a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, look, I'm done. I'm sorry, guys. I'm done. Look, guys, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all for tuning in, man. Y'all boys is running up the subscribers. I'm trying to get to 2K, and I believe I can get there. And once we do, hey, man, giveaways. I'm, I'm giving my giveaway because I got to give my 2K video. Guys, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you know when you boy drop videos, man. Become part of Chocolata Crew. Hit that subscribe button. It's free. It's free to charge, bro. You don't got to pay nothing to hit that subscribe button. Come on. Help your boy out. <laughs> Yo, I hope y'all like what y'all see. Your boy is out, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Peace. Oh, peace. It was down low. Peace. <laughs>